two, one. Magandang umaga, magandang araw, magandang gabi. B! <laughs> Hello, Internet Kai Vegans! Ako po si Rachel Torolino, your favorite Philan fan girl. We are back! Ang babalik tayo! Or babalik ako! I know, it's been a while. It's been like, what, five months? Five months? I know I said I'm back like a million times at this point. I'm back, I'm back. I am back! I know I did an I'm back video a while back but I'm really back I'm really back I think yeah no 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 I'm back yeah no I'm really back friends I'm really back <laughs> not only am I back but I'm also coming back to you as Phil and Fangirl 2.0 2.0 yes 2.0 because this video is inspired by what is it inspired by? Every le every next level. Sorry, let me say this right. Every next level of your life will demand a different version of you. This Fail and Fangirl series is in a different level of its life. It's already what two and a half years old. I want to say we celebrated the two years in August. Woo! It is two years old. It requires a different version of me as Fail and Fangirl of the series and what is expected on my end, what I expect of this series, and how, and all that fun stuff. Yan, 2.0. Did that make sense? I don't know. I know, I know, the last video I posted was five months ago, and in that time frame, a lot of things happened. So, let's go over that. Uh, I reached 8,888 subscribers and thought I was back when in reality I really wasn't. I closed down my freelance technical writing and photography business because it was just taking up a lot of time. And now that I am working corporate, I realized how much I love working corporate. So that's new. I didn't expect to love it this much. So there you go, that happened. I checked some things off of my bucket list and my New Year's resolution list by going on the wish bus and traveling. Woo! I got to travel internationally again, which is always on my New Year's resolution list every year. So that was good. And then something that I thought would never happen uh, was being on the wish bus. The, not the one in the Philippines, but the one here in the United States. Because of my friend Mikey, she brought me on the bus and gave me that opportunity. And I was just so happy to be there and really excited and I was definitely fangirling. I binge watched a lot of Netflix television shows, especially to all the boys I loved before and that was so good. I set aside more time for reading. Aside from reading Crazy Rich Asians, I also watched it and I've been on the trilogy so I'm hoping I can share that experience with you guys because it is a form of representation media, having Asian representation in media that like warms my heart. It makes me so happy that we're seeing people who are of the same culture, background, region. <clears throat> what else? Oh, I realized how much of an ambivert I am leaning, get this, on the introverted side. This is something that, you know, I never realized about myself. I was a lot more extroverted and people could argue with me and say, once you're extrovert, you're forever extrovert. But the thing is, I'm ambivert. Love getting energy from being with people, finding comfort from being alone and just like not going out and everything. <laughs> Mark rubbed off on me. That is something that I definitely have realized about myself. I finally accepted. I thought it was like, I was like, why am I doing this? I need to do things. But then really I was realizing I was taking too much energy from myself from trying to do things all the time. So yeah, that was that was a realization I never thought would happen. On the topic of realizing my introvertedness, ambivert, introvert, extrovertedness, I revitalized my mental, physical, and spiritual uh, balance, I think, that being alone and partaking in really taking care of myself and stepping away from YouTube has really helped me. It made me realize how much I needed me time and that me time also really honed in on what I wanted from me from YouTube and what I was expecting of YouTube because my expectations versus reality when it came to YouTube was probably far out of reach. I, I know I still want to reach a lot of people but not at the expense of hmm, how do I say this? No, we're not gonna talk about this. Okay, whatever. Something else 
uh, is that I had to learn about my new role as a dog mom to this little baby right here. This is Shadow. If you haven't met him yet, he has an Instagram. And he loves people. And he's a nocturnal dog because, you know, his dad sleeps late and he just decides to sleep late too. Oh, boy, boy. He just wants to be left alone right now. I started streaming on Twitch. If you would like to follow me live, I have a channel on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Fangirl. Whenever we're on there, we pretty much just like talk about whatever, listen to music together. Uh, sometimes it's Filipino based and then sometimes it's like completely random. We talk about random things. The people in the chat are the ones who pretty much contribute to the conversation and then I just kind of go with it. So it's more of a free range, go with the flow type of thing. And I actually really, really, really enjoy being on Twitch. So find me there. Oh my gosh, another thing I got rid of the last of my dyed blue hair and blonde hair and every other hair color that I had in the last three years. It was like chopped off and then we finally did it to my natural hair color. So. It's gonna fade a little bit because sometimes my hair, my natural hair color actually gets brownish here, um, just depending on how much sun it gets, but I think it's staying dark because it's winter. This is a big deal for me because my hair, I mean, hair is already dead, but that's a big deal for me. I don't know what to see you guys, but for me it is because, you know, it took a lot of patience because I love doing things to my hair, but I was like, you know what, my head needs a break, so. I also re-signed up for TFC so we can have some Filipino teleserie time on this series 2.0. So I'm really excited about that. If you have any suggestions of what I should watch that is either new or classic or something I haven't watched and posted a video about yet, yet, parentheses, on this channel, please leave it in the comment below. The best way for me to describe 2.0 is to have a comparison back to version 1.0 of myself. 2.0 is going to be a lot, a lot more transparent about the topics that not many people want to talk about, especially with their Filipino families, uh, because it's like a little touchy. I, I really want to get down to it because I feel like when I started Fan Fangirl, I know that I started it as my journey to learning about the Filipino culture through American Raised Eyes. And I still hold true to that. Really, this this series is about my journey and what I'm learning in hopes that it'll inspire other people who are just learning about their Filipino culture. I guess 1.0 was really very internalized and I don't want it to sound like, oh, me, me, me. But it was very much more about like my, my internal, like what I've been through in my experience and after getting a whole bunch of comments of people realizing or not just like a whole bunch of comments from people telling me like oh my gosh I feel that way I've been through that like I can't talk to my family about like how they don't have feelings or emotions or like I I I feel this way about my color there's like such different dimensions to all of the topics that I'm talking about and I definitely want to be talking about that. We're gonna, we're gonna get down to it. We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty things nobody wants to talk about, which, you know, in, in the end, as much as it's just about Filipino culture, sometimes it's generational, sometimes it's it, it, societal, it, it, the possibilities are endless. Coming out of the seriousness of that, I do want to have a lot of fun with the series, I want to incorporate learning more Tagalog. In 1.0, I feel like I was on such a good track. Oh, I was so good. I was learning. I, w I had TFC. I That's why I said I re-signed up for TFC because I had to cancel it for a little bit because I just had no time to watch. I just did it, you know, in the last year. I haven't been practicing it. I haven't been hearing it. Mark doesn't talk to me in Tagalog. Every time I'm like, babe, talk to me in Tagalog. Like, I, I feel like I'm putting him on the spot and he's like, I can't. So my allergies are definitely something that we are carrying into 2.0, unfortunately, because, you know, last time I'd be sneezing, I still have that problem. I will still bring back the Filipino superstitions, but we're going to call it Super Filipino Stitions, just because I think it's like a cute play on words and just inserted Filipino in there. Another new series I'm bringing in is eating with you guys because after Twitch streaming and eating and cooking with everyone on the Twitch, on the Twitch, I'm so Filipino, on the Twitch, 
on Twitch. <laughs> After cooking and eating on Twitch with everybody, I saw the feedback on that. And you know, who doesn't love food? So we are going to be bringing that um, more like eat with me's. And I'm going to call that series. Ready? Ready? Are you guys ready? Phil and Fluff Girl! <laughs> and the only reason why I'm calling it Phil and Fluff Girl is because Mark and I have this saying when we're eating and like if we're super super busog we're like oh my god i'm so fluffy i'm feeling fluffy and that's something that we've always said to each other so we're gonna call it philam fluff girl if you guys want to see me eating cooking something because i want to incorporate i'm trying to incorporate more filipino food on a weekly basis for me like whether like just cooking it, eating it, whatever, because um, we're in San Diego. And if you're from California, you know this, San Diego has this city called National City, and it's basically like the daily city in the north near San Francisco, like the Filipino city or Cerritos in Orange County. So these are like the Filipino staples, you know? And I'm really close to National City now. So I know there's a bunch of restaurants for me to try, and I will try them. If you are from San Diego, please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's any other restaurants you think that I should definitely try because I, I don't have much experience or much knowledge about the Filipino restaurants down here. Aside from the real talk, learning Tagalog, and apparently my new cooking and eating show, um, I'm also going to be adding a part of this Phil and Fangirl series uh, called Fangirl Fangirls, meaning me, the Phil and Fangirl, fangirls over certain things. And that is where I'm bringing in uh, a bunch of Filipino teleseries or Filipino movies, Filipino music, uh, Filipino artists, Filipino American artists uh, that I know of or people recommend to me and me basically sharing them with you, reacting to them, talking about them bringing it out, rolling it out into the world, and hopefully uh, spreading the word about their artwork and their music and their their films and TV series um, so that you guys can learn about them, and hopefully you guys like them too. So we have Fangirl Fangirls. I'm continuing Reppin' Media. I only did one episode of that with 13 Reasons Why, but because that got a lot of good feedback, I'll bring that back. Last but not least, I guess... The whole point of Phil and Fangirl 2.0 is for me to feel okay and more comfortable with sharing with sharing more about me and opening up more about me. I mean, there's a lot of people who say, like, I already share a lot of my life online, which I don't mind. I feel like how I live my life on video is no different than how I live my life not on video. So being able to share that with you and, and and posting it without worrying about the content being perfect or aesthetically pleasing. Um, that's And this is just me telling myself. It's something that I really want to work on with Phil and Fangirl 2.0. So if you see videos more about me or tags of bringing in people I love or pe people who are close to me, please support that and I hope that you enjoy them. There is so much to be excited for coming into this other version of this series. Let me know what you're most excited for of the different pieces of Phil and Fangirl that I'm gonna incorporate into this new version of Phil and Fangirl. I am so excited to come back, be here. I'm really back. I'm not promising, but Mark is teasing me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, I'm not gonna make any promises I feel like when I make promises I, I it just not that I break them but it's just like I feel the pressure you know that's what it is it's the pressure so if you are new here you're like why do I even need to know any of this if you're new here subscribe and click that notification bell because you want to know when new videos are coming out aka tomorrow um and if you aren't new here thank you so much for continuing to support this channel this community this this thing that we call the youtubes to answer myself you know my past self i'm answering future rachel's answering past rachel when people think of my channel and phil and fangirl i want them to think of the fact that they're not alone in thinking certain things that might otherwise be looked down upon. I, I want them 
to feel like they're accepted in a community where it's a bunch of positive energy and positive space. Um, and I want them to know that they have, whether you want me to see you as your friend, you want me to see you as like a big sister, as that cousin that gets you into trouble, but like also, you know, it's good trouble, right? Good trouble. Um, um, just whatever a person needs, um, in terms of, because th these are, these are, okay, the thing is, these are roles that I hold. I am a cousin. I am a tita, <laughs> but I don't have my nieces call me tita. I am a cousin. I am an auntie. I am a godmother. I am a sister, an older sister. I am, I'm a lot of different things. I'm now a dog mom. I'm not a mother, so I don't know the perspective of parents. However, I know what it's like to be a daughter <laughs> and go through like things like having strict parents before, you know? But but we're gonna be talking about those things. I'm just so excited to talk about a lot of those things. Come back. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Hands. Because I'm back and you're back and we're back. And baby got back, and that's it. Back, back, back. Talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow. Bye. Sorry, my nose is totally. No, that's not my exit. But Anna. Magandang gabi. Alam mo? Magandang umaga, magandang araw, magandang gabi. Hello, Internet Guy Vegans! Ako po si Rachel, your favorite Phil and Fangirl, and I am back. Oh, I need to say my last name. <laughs> I need to get through this without having an allergy attack. Back, backtrack, back, 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 back. Also, can we talk about how cute this tree is?